The Coliseum gates rumbled open. The crowd roared. And Thomas walked out into the sun-drenched arena once again. Although they greeted him like a hero, the crowd was the stuff of nightmares. An assemblage of creatures from the Empire which had conquered Earth, here to witness today's battle. But the monstrous spectators no longer intimidated Thomas. They were as unimportant as the seats they sat upon, and their howls and screeches might as well have been jeers rather than cheers. Today, all he noticed was that their noise was more deafening than usual, as if a hurricane had been bottled inside the massive Colosseum. Then the gnats arrived to distract him. He still called them gnats, though by now he understood that they were really just improbably small video devices. The swarms annoyed him each time he fought, but he restrained his instinct to swat at them since dozens more would replace any that he had hit. From the gnats, he had pieced together that these death matches, which the Earth's new rulers had set up for their own entertainment, were being broadcast across the galaxy. For all he knew, he might be some sort of galactic superstar, possibly the most famous human who had ever lived. But what did he care? The invaders had killed millions, perhaps billions, including everyone that he loved. They had broken him long ago. Now he was just a slave, pitted against his fellow slaves. Kill or be killed was all that mattered. Suddenly the gnats parted, and Thomas faced his latest opponent. A woman. He wasn't surprised. The female combatants were as fierce as the males, and often quicker. Any old-fashioned notion of chivalry within Thomas had vanished the first time it almost got him killed. This woman was tall, lean, and as scarred as he was. And while it was entirely possible that she had been a kindergarten teacher before the invasion, her presence here only meant one thing for certain. She was deadly. Plus, she had chosen knives as her weapon. Thomas hated knives. Then with a cry, she suddenly sprang at him, and the battle began. What followed was twenty minutes of fainting and dodging, slashing and clashing, but in the end, Thomas spilled her intestines on the ground. He was close enough to watch her eyes soften as the savagery drained away, along with her life. Good luck, she said. The crowd erupted, cannons boomed, and a little robot scuttled out to lift his arm into the air. Apparently he had won some new ranking, and then they set him free. Thomas was stunned. No more prison cell? No more Colosseum. The invaders simply picked up and departed, perhaps to amuse themselves on some other planet. After being enslaved for so long, Thomas wondered if his world's survivors would greet him as a champion or as a traitor. Instead, all that greeted him were ruins and memories, and two words echoing over and over in his mind. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Two words, spoken by the second-to-last human in the universe. Thomas was alone.